Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews. I'm your host, Tony. This is Jesse, remember? Hey. Uh, today, uh, I was at the beer store yesterday and I picked up this Great Divides Belgian Style Yeti. Yay! So uh, this comes in at 9.5% ABV, like the other Yetis. Um, doesn't say the IBUs, but I would figure it's around 75 IBUs like the other ones. Slide label says, Belgian Style Yeti is a delicious new blend of brewing to traditions. All the malt-driven roastiness of our Yeti Imperial Stout with characteristic spice and fruit notes imparted by our special Belgian yeast strain. Belgian Style Yeti is a one-of-a-kind beer as mysterious as the mythical creature himself. Impossible? See for yourself. You'll be a believer too. I don't know if I, if you saw that earlier, but you got the Yeti and the little monk guy offering him a beer. That's kind of neat. Well, you ready to crack into this? Hell yeah. Sweet. I don't think it's darn foil off or what. Wee. Nice. There you go. Thank you. Wow, that's good and dark. Oh yeah, super, super dark. Very, very dark, uh, kind of got a tan head, kind of some big bubbles floating on top, but for the most part they're real, real tight. I don't see any, any colors around the edges really. Mm. Well, let's go ahead and get a nose on it. Kind of some chocolate notes, mm -hmm. um, a little bit fruity, I'm sure, from the uh, Belgian late yeasts. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that chocolate, I'm getting that fruitiness from the yeast. Um, does smell a little, that characteristic Belgian spiciness. Um, maybe maybe a hint of alcohol in there as well. Um, oh, it's a good taste on it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh wow, I'm getting kind of like a roasted uh, coffee notes, mild, uh, mild chocolate in there. Um, <clears throat> get a little bit of an alcohol burn on the back of the tongue. Um, just slight fruitiness from the, the yeast. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Definitely um, some roasted uh, coffee, a little bit of chocolate. Um, very slight alcohol burn. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely rather mild as far as alcohol goes. Hmm. The uh, the Belgian yeast adds a, a real nice subtle effect. It's it's not overpowering. Um, yeah. But adds a, a very nice uh, like the fruity flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I, I think the the roasted malt uh, character might overpower the yeast. Uh, what the yeast. Uh, imparts to the beer a little bit because um, it's not that, that Belgian yeastiness isn't as uh, present as what you would find in a, a dark uh, Belgian style ale. Right. Um, but it's really really good. It's definitely uh, quite a bit different than the regular Yeti. Um, the regular Yeti's got a little bit more of a chocolate note to it and a little bit more hot bitterness. This, um, th this just came out. I mean it's got um, June seventeenth on uh, two thousand eleven. So uh, usually a fresh, uh, just a regular Yeti has got a bit more hot bitterness to it. Um, so I'm not quite sure if the seventy five IBUs would be correct on this. Um, yeah, I wish I would have had a chance to try the regular Yeti before um, oh, having yeah, he, this one. <laughs> he's only ever tried the uh, the Oak Age chocolate one mm. uh, about a year ago, also. Um, but uh, definitely a good beer. Oh yeah, definitely, um, definitely. 
What do you think on a scale of one to ten? I'm thinking easily nine point five. Like <laughs> I, this is this is really good. Not too bitter, but lots of nice notes. You know, a little bit of the fruitiness from uh, from the Belgian yeast. Um, good chocolate and coffee notes, mm -hmm. but um, definitely not too bitter. Oh no, not at all. Um, absolutely superb beer. Um, if you're a fan of Great Divide. If you're a fan of the Yeti, definitely check it out. Um, I'm gonna give this. Um, I really, really, really like this beer. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10 out of 10. Um, I think I like it maybe a little bit better than the regular Yeti. Um, I should have got a few bottles of it. Uh, oh, yeah, see how um, maybe another one to enjoy now um, in the next week or so, and then age a couple more for later on down the road. Um, well, I mean, yeah. And even if um, you've not had the regular Yeti yet, or um, many of the Great Divide beers, I definitely recommend uh, you pick this up if you're a fan of Imperial Stouts or any type of dark beer, especially the higher ABV beers. Um, very superb. Definitely. Superb drink. Um, if you like Imperial Stouts, definitely oh yeah, check definitely. this out. Okay, top you off. Thank you, sir. Oh, you can have the rest. How about that? I'll get the last right. couple of drops. <laughs> well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.